Hello and welcome. In this short lecture, you'll learn more about VESTA. VESTA is an acronym for the Visualization for Electronic and Structural Analysis. What you'll see is that it's a great um, tool to help students visualize a lot of crystal structures and also uh, uh, compounds. Um, it's a great tool to use in any introductory um, material science and engineering course. So a little bit about VESTA. So VESTA is actually a free 3D visualization tool of structural models. Again, as I mentioned before, it's a great tool to use to, to help students visualize how crystals are, are packed. More specifically in, in the material science courses, you can actually use it to visualize how atoms are arranged in the more common uh, packaging types for metals, including simple cubic, face center cubic, body center cubic, and hexagonal closed packed uh, crystals. Another great uh, tool that VESTA provides is the ability to create vectors and planes within the unit cell. Um, you can also measure between atoms and, and, and at different uh, locations within the unit cell. Um, I'd like to also use it as a, as a tool for students to visualize and, and, and calculate uh, linear and planar densities. So in this video, you'll learn how to download and install VESTA and also on how to load an, an example file. Um, uh, more specifically, we're going to look at uh, aluminum, face center aluminum, and what we can do with the, the, the program. So first and foremost, you need to visit the website. So here I have the, the, the link to the webpage. So if you click on it, it's jp-minerals.org, you'll see uh, the main web, web page. So what you need to focus on is, on the left side here under software, go to the download link. Okay, once here, you scroll down to the latest versions. Now they have uh, different versions. You have the Windows 32-bit, the Windows 64-bit, and also the, uh, a Mac OS version. So what you need to do is just click on the Windows 64 file currently, and then download it to your desktop. One thing to note, is that the file is actually a zipped file or a compressed file. So once you have your downloaded file, you need to extract this file in order to be able to use the Vesto program. Here I have my downloaded unpacked Vesta uh, file. I will open the folder and then open the application, which is here. Um, it's a .exe executable file. I'm going to double click on that and here is the VESTA program. Now, so there's two ways you can actually load the model. You can drag and drop. So here I have my file. Okay, I can drag and drop onto the VESTA program. See where it gives you the option uh, to move. And then now you have the loaded file. Or you can also go to file and open the document. Um, you can actually see that this is face centered aluminum. We have eight corner atoms and also six atoms which are located on the face. So what I'm actually doing now is holding the left click and freely moving and, and rotating the model. Other options I have uh, on the left tab here are select, translate, you can translate the model, you can magnify or even use your mouse scroll and you can also, this is the, uh, the, the distance function, we can actually measure the distance between atoms. Now if I, the way you do that is if you select the, the atoms, I'm going to select this atom here and this atom here and you look at the output down here between one aluminum and the other. So the locations of the atoms are based on a, a Cartesian coordinate system where the base vectors A, B, and C span that space. Um, so, so the distance here, what you get is from this aluminum atom to the other aluminum atom is about 4.04958 angstroms. Now this is approximately 0 0.404 nanometers. Remember an angstrom is one times 10 to the minus 10 meters. So this value is actually the lattice parameter length, A, of the aluminum atom. Other things I like to do with the program is to visualize it differently. Now if you look at the style tab, here we have 
space filling. And this is a better representation of how the atoms are packed. I'm just going to go back to the free rotation and see how these atoms are located. You could also go, the, the other option I like to use are the wireframe. And if you go to the Tools tab, you can also do some animations. So you, 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 can, you can, if you click on the animation, it'll rotate about particular axes. And you can even control the rotation by left clicking. Or you can have it rotate about specific axes. Other things you can do with the program are, if you go to the Edit menu, you can add vectors within the unit cell and also lattice planes. When you go to the objects, you can also create boundaries. Uh, and, and, and these boundary, this boundary feature allows you to actually section the unit cell. So you can look at atoms and how they're packed along particular uh, uh, planes. So as you can see, this is a great tool to, to visualize models and how atoms are packed. For more information or, uh, and to find out all the other features that are available with VESTA, visit the, w visit the VESTA webpage. And if you go to the, under the software tab, under documentation, you will see that the VESTA manual is available for you to download.